Hi guys! So recently I've been getting a lot of requests to do a Q&A video, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I asked for questions on Facebook and you sent tons of them in, so I'm just going to try to get through as many as I can today. Helen Carmen asks, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I've been watching Heroes recently, and it's the first time I've ever watched it, and I am loving it so far. Um, but there is a girl in it who has the mimic ability, so she watches someone do something, and then she can do it. How good would that be? Maria asks what my favourite childhood movie slash cartoon slash TV show was. I think it was Rugrats, like all time favourite, but I also really liked Johnny Bravo and Ed, Ed and Eddie, I think it was called. Giovanna asks what would you do if you weren't into makeup? Um, probably something to do with games and like game development and things. My actual dream job would be to um, design landscapes for games and things, like that really appeals to me, but I, I'm not on the right path to do that in my life. Mariko asks who is better, Superman or Batman? I think Superman because he can fly, he can heal, he can remember everything he's ever been told or learned, he is super intelligent, he's super strong, he's basically indestructible, he can hang out in the sun and not die. And Batman's kind of just a human man, like he has limits, whereas Superman doesn't. Superman is as awesome as he needs to be, and Batman's kind of just a normal guy with with limits, with human limits. Jessica and Anna Maria ask if I have a job. Um, I do have a job. This is my job for now: YouTube and blogging and like going to events and things. Anna Maria also asks. Um, how old I am and what is my middle name? I am 19. I had to think. I thought it was funny. I'm 19 um, And my middle name is Elizabeth, which is my mama's name. Nathan Garcia asks, what's your favourite video game, anime and Zelda? My favourite video game is kind of just a tie between Final Fantasy 13 and Final Fantasy 10. Um, my favourite anime is Elfin Lead. It's very short though, I wish it was just so much longer because there's just not enough of it for me. Um, but that's well worth the watch if you haven't watched that. And my favourite soda, um, is that like a um, fizzy drink? Because that would probably be uh, Grape Fanta, although that's kind of really annoying and hard to get here. Isabel asks, when you were a child, what was your dream job when you grew up? I never really had one, I kind of had the obvious ones like teacher, vet, doctor, like that kind of thing. Um, I remember I wanted to be a plasterer for a while. Um, <laughs> I also wanted to earn a laundrette. Carowen asks, do you like rock music? Yes, I'm a rocker chick at heart. I always have been. I was brought up on rock and metal. Um, that's the kind of music I was listening to in the womb. That's what I was brought up with. That's what Brad listens to. So I, I've just always been surrounded by it. So yes. Melanie asks, which makeup product can't you live without and why? So I thought really hard about this, but I think it has to be the Estee Lauder Double Wear because I've been using this for around four years now and I love it. I never want to change foundation again, just ever. I like how it looks in photos, I like how it looks in videos, and it looks really nice in person as well, which is obviously really important. Um, but yeah, I think I'd really miss this little guy if I had to change to another foundation. Sammy asks, cats or dogs? Definitely cats, because they're independent, they walk themselves, they don't have to clean up their poo, um, their fur feels good, they smell nice the majority of the time, and they purr, which I find just so relaxing. I, I really miss having a cat in my life. Melissa asks if there's any chance of me coming to Canada. Yes, please, I love a Canadian accent and I really want to go to Vancouver. Um, so yeah, one day. Melissa also asks about my first kiss. It, it was gross and it was awkward, it was moist. Joanna asks, is it socially acceptable to wear makeup to bed for the next day? I don't know about it being socially acceptable, but I know I've done that before. Um, I used to do that for school just all the time, um, or I'd be waking up at like 5 a.m. to do it. And it's, it's kind of gross, don't do it, it'll ruin your skin. It's just not worth it. Just wake up earlier if you want beautiful makeup. It's not gonna be beautiful after you've slept on it anyway. Um, no, no is my answer. <laughs> Aline asks, what's on the top of your bucket list? I really want to visit Japan, just 
so much. Aline also asks, have you read The Fallen Our Stars? Yes, I loved it. It made me cry, it made me laugh, it made me smile. So it just, it ticked all the boxes. Help Me Beauty asks, what do you say to people who think you are weird for the kind of career you have? And do you get weird looks if others find out that you have a YouTube channel? Nowadays, most of the people that I meet and most of the opportunities I get actually come through YouTube and blogging. So most people kind of just know what's going on. But if I did find myself in that situation, I guess I would just try to explain that what I do on my blog and on YouTube is kind of just as legit as someone who for example writes a beauty column in a magazine I'm doing the same kind of thing but I'm doing it through a camera instead and I get paid for it so it's a job so I've got another question from Jessica and she also wants to know what my goals in life are um I really want my own brand and um, that is something I would love to happen but it's very expensive and I I don't know how to do it so um, that's kind of the dream but I have no idea how to get to that so I don't know how realistic that is Leanne asks baths or showers baths although I don't have one in this house it sucks I just have a shower so I just kind of sit on the shower floor a lot of people wanted to know how I learned how to use makeup and also to see pictures of what it looked like when I first started. I learned how to do makeup from watching YouTube tutorials actually. I would watch the tutorial and then recreate the look on myself either before school or after school. I always just had kind of a natural knack for it though. Um, I think it's because I was quite arty in school so it was kind of an easy transition for me but I'll put on screen some pictures of the first character looks I did and the first special effects things I did and kind of just what my makeup looked like in school. Um, it was kind of just always okay like it was just a thing I could do. Vicky asks would you rather be a camel or live in a camel? I'd be a camel. Animals have it so easy they really don't. Animals have it so hard but I just mean they don't have to pay tax, they don't have to pay rent, they don't have to pay bills, they don't have to worry about their lives much. I'd be a camel any day. <laughs> Dima asks do you like Eminem? Yes always have done. Roa asks um, for an Invisalign update. Really good, there is just tons of movement already. I'm about a third of the way through, I think. I'm going to be done by Christmas, which is really exciting. And I'm just, I can already see a difference and I'm already just way more happier with my smile. If you're thinking of doing Invisalign, then I really recommend it, it's really good. Um, but I'll do like a big video at the end of my treatment. Elizabeth or Elizabeth asks, if I read very much and if so what books do I recommend like life-changing ones. I do read, I love a good book but I don't really get um, time to and I read so many at the same time as well it takes me so long to finish them. The only life-changing one I can think of is The Dice Man by Luke Reinhardt and I keep meaning to read this again um, but I've got all my little post-it notes in it for little passages that I kind of want to refer to and um, it's changed my life at least. Basically what happens is this guy starts making life decisions, whether it be important life decisions or just like everyday crappy little decisions, um, on the roll of a die. And it's just really interesting. I always carry a die around with me now. Um, they're just scattered all over the house as well. There's one up there, there's one in front of the TV. And that's really all I can say about this because I don't really want to say what it did for me in my life um, in case you try to get that from it. I'd rather you read it and get your own kind of thing from it. Um, I'm not making any sense at all. But yeah, give it a read, it's a good one. Mary asks if I could do a makeup slash room tour. I will do at some point, um, but right now these guys are full to the brim and nothing else can fit in them. So at the moment all my makeup is just kind of in cardboard boxes behind me, just on the floor. Um, so once I actually have some makeup storage sorted out, then yes, I will definitely do a makeup collection and as for a room tour, I'm kind of just in a corner of my living room, like the sofa's there and the TV's there. So I can show it to you if you want. Not now, I'll do it in my little makeup collection video. Alyssa would love to know what bronzer slash contour I use. I use the... one second. I use MUA bronzer in shade 3, which is only a pound, and then as my contour, I use um, Naked 2 from the Basics palette. And I'm pretty sure you can get it in single as well, but that is a really nice colour for pale people. I'm afraid I can't read your name, so this wonderful person asks, Do you like Arrow? And if so, who's your favourite character? I love Arrow. Arrow is in my 
top five favorite TV shows, and my favorite has to be Felicity. Sophia asks if I'd rather kiss a toad, a spider, or a sea bass. Um, I would rather remove a limb than kiss a spider and just ever go anywhere near a spider, so I'll kiss the toad or the sea bass. Either I'm not fussy, they're both gonna be wet and gross, which was kind of the answer to my first case question as well. Xandra asks if I want to visit the Philippines, and yes, I definitely do. I Boracay is like number three on my bucket list, I think. It's up there, anyway. Claire asks, which Final Fantasy character would you like to make over? Definitely Fang, and it's not because she needs a makeover, she doesn't, she's perfect, but if that meant that she was there, and I could touch her, and she was real, yes. But Brad would be in trouble, because we definitely end up dating, 100%. <laughs> Melanie asks what my inspirations are and how I turn them into new ideas. Other YouTubers, people on Instagram, makeup in magazines, makeup in film, makeup in TV, just everything. And I kind of just, I take little things I like from lots of different looks and kind of just smush them together to make something that's more Emma. Because I feel like nothing's original, like everything has been done, so you've just got to kind of piece that jigsaw puzzle together, but in a different way, something that's kind of more stylized to you. Megan asks, where is the first place you want to visit when you finally get to the United States? I really don't know because I don't really, I've never been there to know where I like. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I just know that I want to go there and I want to taste the foods and I want to buy all the makeup that I can't buy here. Sarah asks um, what my worst makeup fail is. The first time I tried airbrush makeup, like the skin was great, but I tried to do like eyeshadow and my eyebrows and eyeliner and stuff with the airbrush pen. It was the worst thing. I wish I had pictures because it was just so bad. So bad. Alicia asks, do you enjoy all the ways potatoes can be eaten? Hee <laughs> hee. Um, yes, I do. Apart from oven baked chips, I guess, like the big fat ones. No. Never. Millie asks, if I won a million pounds in the lottery, what would I spend it on and why? I'd make my Emma Pickles brand a reality. Um, I'm not sure if that's what I'd call it, but um, I would I, I would do all the things I want to do when I can't afford to do. I'd also buy a really nice industrial looking apartment with like the exposed brick and like the cement walls and the like beams and things. Ugh. Beautiful. Tanya asks, how is the experience living with the boyfriend? It's good, that's just what my life is now. I don't even think about it. He's just there, he's part of my everyday life, and it's great. I wouldn't have it any other way. Freddie asks, is it true that by eating lots of crackers, I will probably turn into a parrot? I'm afraid it is. I'm sorry, Freddie. Farzine asks, what do you hate about people? Um, I hate people's ability to be mean. Um, especially nowadays that like everyone's got this kind of, um, keyboard warrior attitude, um, I don't like that, I think it's very pathetic and I think it's very sad and I don't like it, that's what I hate about people, not all people, not everyone's like that but a lot of people. Andrea asks, at what age did you start wearing makeup? I guess around age 12, 13 but it wasn't real makeup, it was just like black eyeliner cause I was a little emo child and I had my black hair and my black liner but I guess I started wearing proper makeup, like this kind of makeup at around age 15, 16. Melody wants to see some of my childhood pictures so I'll, I'll try to put some on screen if I have any. But that's all we've got time for because my camera is flashing and it's gonna die. If I didn't answer your questions it's because I did run out of time or um, my answers were just rubbish. I probably edited them out. If you want to be involved in the next one of these come and follow me on Twitter and Facebook because it'll be on one or the other. All of my links will be in the description so come and follow me on Blog Loving and Instagram and just everything else. And thank you for watching. Bye.